Hi, this is Kevin Kraut. My topic today is about the faith of the persecutors of the prophet Joseph Smith uh, by N.B. Lundwall. This book itself um, kind of originated under an interesting uh, story. N.B. Lundwall was a member of the reorganized church, the church that uh, was back in Missouri, kind of from the, the Joseph Smith family. He came out west to kind of prove the Brighamites wrong and he was allowed to go in the records and search things and saw things that the, the church had out here in the Rocky Mountain Vatican that they didn't have anywhere else. And so he actually got in and started studying this. And when he found out about plural marriage, that Joseph really did live plural marriage, there were other families, other things, and that there was a lot of plural marriage that was taught uh, under the cuff and he actually saw the records and saw the documentation on that. He pretty much changed. He came out to the church. He joined the LDS church in Salt Lake City. He was a very spiritual, very devout man. And uh, I loved him. I met him. He actually almost died in my mother's arms. And what the fate of the persecutors is about, it tells stories that are incredible stories. He has people that do um, affidavits. They write and sign things. And an affidavit is a statement of truth, things that they saw, they witnessed, they have a notary sign it. And so there were all kinds of stories about uh, of what happened to those who persecuted Joseph Smith and, and uh, the remarkable things of it. This is getting actually pretty hard to find. I suggest anybody read this if they're doubting Joseph Smith, read this, study it. It's one of the best things to prove about Joseph Smith Mormonism and that uh, Joseph Smith really was a prophet. He did have prophetic gifts. There were things that were given to him and, uh, and, and that's kind of the interesting part of the story. However, when I was a little teeny kid, um, he lived in Salt Lake City and he had this kitchen that was kind of interesting and in the kitchens in those days, they had a little stairway that went up inside upstairs. I don't know why they built stairways inside kitchens, but kind of went up in kind of a little curve and went up. So I was always kind of fascinated by that. And I got up and I came in, I must have been around four or five in the morning or something anyway, and, and I went walking into the kitchen and to my surprise, I, I know I had to been about three or four years old and I saw this angel standing there. And it was bright and it glowed and um, I looked and, and uh, and he kind of looked at me and didn't say anything and then just kind of out he went. And so, you know, when I got to be older, I started thinking about that and I told my dad about it. And I said, was N.B. Lundwall an apostle? And dad said, well, no, he was an apostle in the church, but, you know, I think he probably could have seen Christ. And it was a very spiritual moment of my life. And I do... Hail Brother Lundwall. He was a good man. He also had a, real quick, he also had some scrolls, actual large microfilms of things that he actually got from the records of the church. Many of those went back to the Lundwall family. We haven't found those yet, but uh, a lot of interesting stuff on those scrolls.